Captain America is back in the news because they're saying that basically they're going to bring him back and make him less patriotic uh, on purpose. I, I, what was so funny what? to me about this story what? is they were like, who, ca- what casting decision can best represent how much we hate this country? Chris Evans mm. is perfect for that. Our favorite Chris. Yes. He is just like the perfect representation he, of how much we hate patriotism. He uh, is a weird lib, right? He's, he's well, a he's very, super preachy. He's yeah, sad. yeah, but like it would make sense he, if the rumor is true. So, so it says an insider that leak. He's a homosexual? <laughs> what? That's what I've always heard. That he's like no. gay. No, no, I thought that the character I've, I've of Captain that. America was a was rumored to be gay. I thought not it was Chris. Evans. That's because no. of they, they, they make the jokes about him and Bucky because they're best friends and Captain America's. Is no, yeah, but I never I heard have, anything about Chris I Evans have, the, the I have man. Definitely heard this rumor at least twice about Chris. Is Evans Is it like people man? wish that he was gay? Well, I think they want the like character to not also be able to make relationships work. Deviant art wants everybody. to Very few celebrities can make relationships work. Okay. So, but they think it's because he's not supposed to be dating women. So it says Marvel and Chris Evans are <laughs> Chris destroying... Chris Evans, don't sue me for defamation. I swear I read that on the internet. <laughs> Marvel and Chris Evans are uh, destroying Captain America because of Donald Trump. Uh, I want to sure, point out that sure, this sure. is a rumor. This is a rumor. Uh, it says an insider leak is claiming Disney, uh, Marvel, Kevin Feige, and Chris Evans are going to destroy Captain America in the MCU all because of Donald Trump and his supporters. The info comes from D- uh, Disney leaker WW Pro uh, of the park uh, of that park place. The site that recently leaked info on the toy industry insider was among things. Oh, that was really interesting. I read this long article about that basically says like it's really funny because the article doesn't pull any punches. They're like chicks don't sell toys. It's like the whole things. It's like it's like. Iron Man sells toys. Captain America sells toys. Hulk kind of sells toys. Chicks don't like Black Widow. Nobody buys it. Wanda, nobody buys Yeah, like they're like, because boys are the one buying these toys and boys that age don't care yeah, about. Yeah, I feel like for them to sell any products, they'd have to do like a Black Widow, like uh, limited edition eyeshadow palette with like NARS or something. Oh, and then people yeah. might that buy would it. Work. Yeah, that would work. So they're like, sure. they're not selling the right products because if they sell makeup, then it's like, Oh, so well, they're thinking have- about the wrong age demographic mm-hmm. when it comes to the female characters. I'm confused by this, uh, c- the conservative approach to the character that He's they're not referring to. He's absolutely because not Because there's no conservative approach to writing the character, yeah. and there's no cult following of conservatives who just love Captain America and no. they think it's like the best representation of patriotism. That he's, if anything, Captain America or at least not is, this iteration. Like maybe that comic fan base does like. not exist. No, they're making it up. So it says, Chris Evans has reportedly been in talks with Marvel, a thought to be for Secret Wars and or another project, and is rumored to be appearing as Old Man Cap in Captain America 4 starring Anthony Mackie. Uh, the latest claim says Chris Evans and Captain America returning to the MCU is due to Marvel not liking Captain America being used by conservatives and Donald Trump supporters, much like the Punisher. Look, I've never seen that. Uh, I have this other article pulled up from like about D. Snyder calling Trump fans maggot fascists. Get it? Mag- maggot. Maga- ma- ma- maggot. Maga- t- maga- t- like because because Trump is a very the song. clever wordplay that he used. Be- because Trump liked to use the song "We're Not Gonna Take It" in his uh, in his uh, at his rallies. So it says mm-hmm. the the leak states that Feige intends on bridging the divide between the right and the left by having the Chris Evans Captain America join fo- forces with the Anthony Mackie version to identify what makes America good and what needs to be recognized as flawed. You have two and a half hours to tell a movie. Make it about aliens and a bunch of heroes in spandex saving the day. Save this shit ask- for you to be their political savior anyway save no, this literally shit. no one <laughs> they, i if this rumor is true like i just want to know how like the room full of out of touch people that this was taking place in because they said that it's about donald trump and his america first policies Tr- there's no nothing one is about even looking to this character to or marvel to like politically unite them yep. Uh, there's nothing America first about Captain America, if anything, in those movies, if anything. It's more that he's generally principled and believes that if he can help, he's going to help regardless of who or when. Uh, in fact, if they actually... think the America first superhero would be, because of truth, justice, and the American would be way... Would Superman. Would be Superman. That there's actually the point they make in Captain America Civil War, where they're putting through the Sokovia Accords, and the idea Thank here is you. that they can't go into other countries to operate... 
unless the uh, the world government, the UN, gives them permission to go into those countries to operate. And Captain America says, if I see something bad happening, I'm going to do my best to fix it, regardless of who says I can go there. So That's he's a, anti-UN. He's, Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So I, I don't take that as an America first notion. If anything, he would be like, hey, like something, bad's, something bad's happened over in, in, in Sokovia. I guess it's none of my business. That's, that's not what Captain but, America so is. is. This is completely made up. He is sort of you know, American in the sense that he's insistent on intervention. <laughs> yes, yes. He is very neoliberal, if anything. I don't right? understand. So uh, uh, they are concerned about literally everything but making a fun, entertaining movie. Literally everything. This is Tim, more important than having fun. Well, they, they want to do subtle social engineering, and they think that they're a lot subtle? smarter than the consumers. Yeah, but it's not. it doesn't actually come off as subtle at all. They're not accomplishing what they think they are. It's also funny. Oh. You know, as, as dumb as maybe the average moviegoer might be, because they'll just take anything Marvel throws at them. Yeah. They still notice, like they still notice the messaging. It's not subtle. It's not sneaking in to the to the movie under our noses. Also, like all this is is them being like, this character is called Captain America. Yeah, they hate that. They hate and that. We hate it's exactly America. that. Yeah. It's also funny because they're screwing Anthony Mackie over in the process. When yeah. Anthony Mackie played uh, the Falcon, he was extremely beloved, and they love him as that character. The second they make him Captain America. Even if you still love Anthony Mackie, you can tell that this is not genuine. Even if they did it in the comics, they did it in later ends, and Caper 2X can inform me of what, <laughs> what run that was that they actually made uh, Falcon into Captain America. It's a later run, and nobody cares for that. They want him as the Falcon. They don't want him as Captain America. So you make him the bad guy, even though it's not his fault. Uh, How is the Punisher used the as logo. some kind of symbol of Donald Trump supporters? The, they're saying because I understand conservatives that some people the, like the logo, but that has nothing to do with the Punisher. The military at that point. Well, they they think it does. They're 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 mentally ill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they think they think Good that point. The, they think that the average person who has a Punisher logo on their car is like read up on the lore of Frank Castle when really the guys like look at the cool skull logo. Like that's what the average yeah. cop or uh, or military person they don't care about Frank Castle. Not really. They might have watched the TV show. Maybe they saw the the awful movie with uh, what was it? Was it War Zone? I don't remember which one it was with uh, uh, with uh, John Travolta in it. Uh, I think that one ended up being better than the other ones. But the the point is, they know the logo means something vaguely like militaristic. They don't actually care about the character of the Punisher. So it says the leaders of the MCU reportedly disliked that the that they did not address the issue. Meaning the the okay. So I'm gonna yeah. So they talk about uh, it said that Kevin Feige is open to do a project with both versions of Captain America, which would bring together uh, bring the two together to repu repudiate the perceived negative aspects of America while still finding a cause to believe in. Can you imagine spending twenty dollars to have them? I want to know this? what that cause is um other than some neb nebulous platitudes about unity racism that guessing, no one asked for uh the leaders of the mcu reportedly disliked that they did not address the issues before captain america retired from the character states the leaker uh i also love that like the end game was like almost three hours long and they have all these characters and all these stories to get through right and they're supposed to what? Shoe? How is that ever going to fit into something like? Oh, Thanos is coming down, and he's gonna—he wiped out half the planet. We gotta fix everything. Yeah, but could you address the social uh, concerns going on in the United States of America, please? Yeah. Half of the country was gone at that point. You can't do that. These people are nuts. They felt that having an African American version of the character bear such a burden alone was unfair. So they're also uh, burdening him with like they're treating him like an idiot. Uh, and pretending like he's bat, like he's lesser than Captain America because he's black, so they're racist too. Uh, Is that what they're saying, though? I, I, I mean, or whether they need to or not. Do you think it's just like placing a burden of of social, like promoting a social message on him that he didn't? Then they're doing that expect. by 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 yeah, that's by making it the topic of conversation at all. Mm -hmm. I go back and I, I watched Captain America Civil War recently and there's the great scene at the beginning when they introduce Anthony Mackie's character where he is um, uh, running around, was it Civil War or was that somebody in the Caper 2X or somebody in the chat can tell me, was it Civil War or was it Winter Soldier when, it, uh, when Falcon was introduced? I think it was 
Winter Soldier. Basically, Super uh, Captain America is running around uh, at the at the uh, Capitol, and he keeps lapping Anthony Mackie's character. And it's this great introduction to a character who's a vet, works at a works at like a, a veteran's home, and all this stuff. And it's got nothing to do with these stupid social issues that don't have anything to do with these movies, and they're just turning people off and souring them on stuff that has nothing to do with telling comic well, book What it's stories. doing is also catering to the feelings of the executives at Marvel yeah. because it, they say it's further said that people at Marvel, not the fans of Marvel, yeah. not the people who casually watch Marvel movies because they, inle- they enjoy them, the people working at Marvel lose it when they see Trump supporters wearing Captain America star logo shirts on television at Trump events. Which is weird because it proves that they can't understand that integration is like a thing. That person might not be mm-hmm. wearing it because they think of Captain America as some great symbol for the... Like, that they just be think a the good movies- thing for your company because the symbols of the, the characters and IPs in this this in the MCU have spread so far that people like don't even know what they mean anymore but they're still buying the products. No, see I don't That's think that's a good want, thing for them. They don't want their products it's more important to them that their product is not associated with Trump's brand in any way. Hollywood hates nationalism. It hates patriotism, it hates any yep. sort of alliance with the country. And so in some ways this is the only way they think they have influence over people who think differently than they do. I also want to point out when I said earlier But they do. They do have the influence they want but it's never not, enough no if you, not, yeah is that just a victim of the, of the i don't think that they have the influence they want over people who are more interested in donald trump's policies that's why you see i mean so if many you're a trump supporter economies also, coming up right now right like we see alternative platforms popping up we see new people investing in making content and movies that's why youtube in some ways is such a weird place because it gives a lot of independent creators who lean conservatively their own platform. If you I make think that mo- they think this character is more influential in MAGA spheres than it actually is. Yes. It, yeah, that's true. But also, if they're seeing uh, Trump supporters wear Captain America star shirts and they lose it because of that, they are like loathe that it's that influential. It's like you have the influence over them that you wanted. But you have them the, buying your products. Yeah. You have them buying the tickets to see the movies. And but you they can don't, show them so whatever to, you want in those movies. So they have to make it worse to get you to stop wearing it. They're yeah. just... Tr- they they happen to be Trump supporters and they happen to casually enjoy yeah. this franchise. They don't want them, though. They don't want to see their product in any You think sphere. they're purely ideologues. They don't want money. I think that they want money, but they don't want images on the internet of the Captain America symbol being yeah. at Trump This is rallies. a thing. This is a, absolutely a thing with the Punisher logo in the comics where they, they changed the logo so that, like, uh, it had him not use guns for a period of time because of gun violence and, <laughs> uh, and also... These, the, at least in do? the comics division, they're absolutely ideologically motivated. I also yeah. want to point out that when I said that they're worried about just doing anything but making good movies, we also have Mark Ruffalo, who, who Tim actually talked about, <laughs> on his show today, who thinks the world is coming to an end, uh, well, essentially. He's, he's worried about his future in <laughs> acting and being in the MCU because, because he thinks that the world is about to end. So I'm going re- to read his quote. Yeah. So the, this is the first quote. It says, I mean, I'll probably do it as long as they'll have me. If people are interested and I can bring something that's interesting to me to it and interesting to the fans. But I have no idea. I mean, you know, when you look at the comics, there's some pretty grizzled old versions of him. He's talking about Bruce Banner. I'm like, okay, the 67-year-old Hulk that would be interesting if all of us are still here making movies and there's a world that allows for us to do that anymore with <laughs> with whatever what that means with what we're living in and heading towards the future feels more precarious than any other time so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself but I hope I'm still around to do it how much more do, how many more times do you have to say like the future is so uncertain and precarious right now the world seems very unknown right now i'm so tired of hearing that there are a lot of ways that that could be interpreted some I would still say it has to do with civil unrest but now you're you're saying that it possibly is that he thinks the sea levels he's will a, rise he's a climate nut. or he's a more climate likely nut. the tectonic plates are going to just wipe out hollywood i think that they're going to float off into the into the sunset be cool if he thought the earth was flat and he was actually sliding off it like i want him to have a weird uh, reason to think <laughs> the world i want him to, to to subscribe to some like he thinks that it he was he thinks yellowstone is going to blow yeah. <laughs> or, or like, i want him to be like he shook his magic eight ball and it said and he was like is the world going to end and it said yes and he's 
the Magic 8-Ball has never let him down before. Or he's like a big, like he was a big th- fan of like the Mayans in 2012 and he think it was actually 2021. Now he's got to keep going. He's like, what's the next one? Uh, and he's actually just figuring out like, or CERN, maybe he blames CERN and he thinks like the Large Hadron Collider is going to bring about the end of the world soon. Like, I like the idea that he, he thinks the world's going to end, but it's not because of um, a civil, civil unrest or my climate change, See, he thinks it's for something funnier. I think in some ways this comment, like, if there's still a world that prints to it, like, it's not that he thinks the world will literally end. It's that he thinks, like, you know, evil people who think differently than he is are going to somehow take away his ability to produce movies. Like, it's like a weird a fear of censorship. Yep. But maybe also he knows that these this universe, the Marvel Universe, while it does make money right now, is ultimately going to collapse. It's like a bubble like a housing bubble. He knows that this is overinflated. They're producing too much strange content that's not very good and people will leave it behind. So when he said what we're living in and heading towards, living in makes it sound like he's talking about civil unrest. Mm-hmm. Uh, heading towards to me, tells me, tell me tells me that he thinks the that every time he has to turn the air conditioner on, he's about to, I think he lashes himself. Lashes every, himself. Like every time he turns on his he air conditioner, penance. he like lashes, he gives himself 10 lashes because he's, commi- he's uh, contributing to global warming. This Maybe. is okay. I'm I'm looking at the interview and it's a little bit out of context because what they asked him was uh, half of the original six Avengers are no longer part of the MCU, and how long do you think you'll be playing Bruce Banner? Yeah, but what he says, what and then we're he living said, in. I, "I'm always surprised that I'm still here." Um, we joke about that the Hulk is like our generation's Hamlet. We're all going to get a shot at it. I keep waiting for the next version of it. I mean, I'll probably do it as long as they'll have me if people are interested. And I can bring something that's interesting to me to it yeah. and interesting to the fans. Uh, it, it is interesting. But like, he's, I think maybe he's talking about the future of the film industry and not just the, the future of the entire, like, country and the entire world. I don't know. Like, to, like And uh, he would be right to say that. Yeah, about the film okay, industry. About the about film, the film industry. industry, that it's in a precarious situation, he's right? Like, eventually Maybe we'll, he's saying we as a royal we, or we as in we in uh, at Marvel, or we in the entertainment industry. When he, says that, uh, when he says there's a world that allows us to do that anymore, I would have expected him to say there's an industry that allows us to do that anymore. But they also say, like, entertainment world. Like, I'm just, I'm thinking of different possibilities than him thinking we're about to, like, drown. <laughs> I, or, maybe, yeah, because, like, the interviewer is like, okay, like, well, next question. Now, now that you've dooms, like, that you've given us your doomsday prophecy. Uh, well, the, the only thing they asked him after that was, like, asking about the evolution of how he approaches the character it's like not even seen as uh, uh they don't like blink at it you know he gets he gets no uh leeway because he's such a weirdo on twitter and he's i'm just a- i'm hearing the answer in his annoying voice in the <laughs> annoying mark ruffalo throaty voice it, and i just can't stand it i i, I couldn't like I, I like watching him get dressed down in she hulk was this weird moment where i'm like it's kind of funny because mark ruffalo it. sucks but it's also really annoying because it's super uber over the top feminism. I don't know what to think about How this. How much of She-Hulk have you watched? Exactly 16 minutes of it. Ah, have you watched it? I have not. We're going to be reviewing a show called The Patient coming up. Okay. Uh, starring Steve Carell. Um, mm-hmm. And then we're also going to hopefully do um, the premiere for Lord of the Rings, uh, The Rings of Power. Yep. Uh, we're going to be trying to... The hard part for doing that stuff is like with guests... Always. We can't always ask the guest to review something with us because it's a time commitment outside of the show. Yes, mm-hmm. like uh, so, people always ask like why we don't review more stuff. That's that's a big part of it. Uh, and it's like like Taylor was on yesterday and had to basically listen to us talk about. Yeah, and we also so, like to review things on the show because it reaches more people that yeah, way. It's it's not as fun to just post it up. It's and also then, more immediate. Yeah. Like, and you get to have people's reactions to what you're saying. Yeah, people were chatting and talking time, about yeah. the actual movie, which yeah, is like yeah, people yeah. made people made points when we were talking about it that I thought were interesting that you miss out on if you don't do it But keep the show. keep shooting us ideas of like what you want us to review though. I'm excited to, to review The Patient. I started it earlier today. So we're gonna... Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.